It's definitely fishing and not catching, <laughs> but that's okay. Welcome. We are headed out to the garden. We just got back from fishing. We went fishing this morning. It's definitely fishing and not catching, <laughs> but that's okay. We were outside. We were together. We had a good time, but we're going to walk out to the garden. You going to go help mama? We've got this contraption here that we're going to try to put out there and see. So y'all know that we've been having some issues with what I'm assuming is probably rabbits maybe squirrels I don't know probably rabbits getting in the garden and uh, eating some of our some of our food and so we're gonna try this out it's a it says it's emol 360 solar motion activated animal repellent and it's solar powered and it's supposed to I think it has some lights I think it has some different like frequencies that it's supposed to rotate through um, and it's motion sensored, so if something starts to come in the garden, it's supposed to scare it away. So we're going to give it a try. I also got a mosquito trap from this same company to put on the porch so we can sit out there without the mosquitoes eating us up. Right? All right. Yeah? All right, let me put you down. We have picked a lot of radishes from the garden, so that's why there's some spaces in those. But like my beets, from here to here, something got. There's some spaces in my Brussels sprouts and um, in my chard. That's our beans growing. artichokes peas I did come out here and put some cages around the cucumbers so hopefully they'll start growing up those cages grow little cucumbers grow before it gets too cold there's our radishes and I planted more radishes and more beets in one of our raised beds all right, so I'm taking it out of the box. This is the AR-16 Pro. And it will have to sit out here for a while and charge. So hopefully it's got enough time today. Wyatt, where are you going? It has this charger so that you could charge it that way if you wanted, but I'm just gonna leave it out in the sun. to the chickens. They let the chickens out. It's got some buttons on the bottom so you can control if it's in just night mode or 24 hour mode and whether or not the blue light flashes. I'm wondering Am I supposed to turn it on for it to charge or just put it out in the sun? Here's what the instructions say as far as how it functions. It has flashing lights on each side, speaker, the animal approaches, the lights flash, it makes a sound. 
and it will go into standby mode after the animal leaves. We'll see. I think I'm going to have to go get a shovel or the hoe and loosen the ground up before I try putting this in. Showing them. Cucumber. Not a cucumber. What is oh. that? <laughs> Radish. Radish. Big. It is big. You're pretty good at growing stuff, sir. <laughs> Can you pull the plastic off the top? Do you see that over the solar panel? Thank you. Alright, we're gonna let this charge and we'll give it a try, see how it goes. Our lettuce is growing, Wyatt. Yeah, you see the lettuce? What do you know? Apparently we're growing a pumpkin. Wonder which child did that. Blinding. Somebody asked if we get nervous about having the chickens out here. Well, and the wind's gonna blow. Somebody asked if we get nervous having the chickens out, like with hawks and stuff. We have hawks around here, and we do. And there's actually an eagle that we see sometimes too. Um, so we only let them out when we're out here with them so that we're a little bit of a deterrent for anything that might want to mess with them and to keep them out of the garden too. Hulu put herself in the chicken tractor. But he's going to go in and get her. I guess she went under where it was raised a little bit. You don't go in there with them. No, let them eat. Go get Frizzle. Margaret and Sweetie. White, get out of their way. Okay. See what this thing's all about. So right about the edge of the garden is where it starts going off. Maybe this will do the trick, y'all. Have to keep you updated. You can turn the flashing blue light off, and I may do that. So that it only flashes the white lights when something comes up. Got a sweater on now. It's cooler in the mornings and in the evenings. It still gets pretty warm around here during the day, but in the evenings it cools off and it's sweater weather. I think it's going to be a feed yourself kind of night around here tonight. And I've been kind of wanting some ramen noodles with some of our homemade hot sauce on it. My mom and I canned some hot sauce and it is delicious. It's hot. It doesn't take much. So spicy noodles for me tonight. Uh, we used 
some leftover peppers. Actually, our Tabasco plant has just really started producing and we used a lot of Tabasco peppers and then some jalapenos that we still had in this hot sauce. And it's hot, <laughs> but I love spicy things, so I'm all about it. I think that's what I'll have for dinner tonight is some spicy noodles. Y'all know what I'm going to say, and I mean it with all my heart. I love you. I appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.